So ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for me, Ryan Job 62, to review Mary Poppins Returns, which I saw yesterday up in Belfast. Now that, that was a good uh, random experience. Like, I went up to Belfast yesterday just to have a day out and I had no intention of seeing a movie whatsoever. So when I went and saw this movie, I was like, okay, this is going to be good. I've heard good reviews on this. And it's got probably one of my um, women crushes. Uh, you know you know the whole women crush Wednesday thing? Yeah. Emily Blunt. Oh my god. What a woman. What an actress. Uh, wonderful singing voice. Um, if you don't know, she was in Into the Woods, which also featured Anna Kendrick and James Corden and Meryl Streep. So she definitely has that singing background to her. We had Dick Van Dyke. Everyone loves him from the first Mary Poppins where he played Bert. Uh, we also have, who else we have? We have Colin Firth, Firth yeah, um, in this movie. He is a good actor in Mamma Mia and in other movies that he's done. I've got the cast um, on my tablet here just in case I... Uh, get some names wrong. We have Lynn manuel Miranda as Jack. We had Meryl Streep as Topsy. We had obviously Colin Firth. We had Ben Whipshaw as Michael Banks and Emily Mortimer as Jane Banks. I don't know if it's going to show that it doesn't show the kids um, obviously but you know, the main cast is at the top there. The movie just came out yesterday, Friday. Or no, it came out on Friday. Yesterday was Saturday. Today's Sunday. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve, so that's fun. Um, I went into this movie thinking the first one, can Emily Blunt line up with uh, Julia Andrews? And actually, yeah, she kind of can. She got it down perfect. There was moments in this movie where it kind of took a turn. Like, I was like, oh, oh, okay. Um, didn't expect that, but it happened. Um, it got really dark at one point, and just the whole character with Colin Firth. Um, who did he play? He played William... can't see his last name. He played William. Let me see if I can find his name. Who did he play? Who did he play? Who did he play? Who did he play? I need to get like a whole cast list for this movie. Mary Poppins returns. Full cast and crew. Here we go. I'm just trying to get who Colin Firth played in this movie. He played William Wilkins, and he was also a wolf. Okay, here's the kids. We got Pixel Davies as Annabelle, Joel Dawson as Georgie, and Nathaniel Sleet as John. Also, Julia Walters was in this as well. You remember Rosie from Mamma Mia? She was Ellen in this. Dick Van Dyke, obviously. And then it was just obviously opposite characters. Ben Walsh, Lynn Manuel Miranda. Okay, yes. Okay. So yeah, um, it was as I said, it was really dark moments with William Wilkins' character. And the kids and um, I keep forgetting their fucking names. Um, Michael and Jane, um, obviously the Banks kids, the Banks children. Uh, all the songs in this, just the scenery is fantastic. I, I loved watching this and I was like, wow, this scenery is really good. Um, Under the Streets of London, good wee song. Uh, just any song that Emily Blunt sings, oh God, take me. Um, 
There's, there's a good version of Let's Fly a Kite in this. Uh, let's fly a kite. Uh, the song at the end with all the balloons. I don't want to give away too much because someone complained in my Wreck-It Ralph review that I spoiled the whole movie. Well, sorry, I do kind of give out spoilers a little bit. Uh, just the 2D animation style of this with like the animals and stuff that they brought in. You had the penguins, there was a dancing elephant. A dancing elephant? Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. No, an elephant is fine. Bit weird, but there was loads of different animals in this. Um, obviously animated animals. Um, even then, though, the animated team at Disney is wonderful. Like, I love watching just anything they produce. There was loads of moments where I was actually crying at this movie, because, like, I cry at any movie now. You put any movie on that TV... I guarantee I'll cry somewhere. Um, like there was a really touching moment uh, with Michael Banks because um, he was obviously married and his wife had passed away. And there was like a really touching moment with him. And just the chemistry between him and his sister Jane, that, that's a good chemistry there. There's a weird romance in this movie with Jane and someone that I'm not going to mention because I will give it away. But... Even then, I'm like, okay, yeah, they, they're, I can definitely ship them. I can see them as a, as a couple type thing. Overall, though, I, I really did enjoy this movie. As I said, I didn't expect to go and see it. And another thing, something else I didn't expect. You know how yesterday I was updating you guys on my subscribers as I went out throughout my day? Take a guess how many we're at now. I said to you guys, oh, we can get to 700 before the end of the year. We're now on 715. <laughs> so that means, ladies and gentlemen, that we're on the road to 800. And today is the 23rd. So pretty much next week, next Monday, is the last day of 2018. And what number are we going to be on? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's going to be... <coughs> it's going to be so weird that just within 24 hours, we've gone from 634, I think it was, when I mentioned yesterday at the start of my video, to 715. So just look at that space right there. But guys, that was my review on Mary Poppins. The scenery, love it. The music, brilliant. Choreograph, brilliant. The actors, brilliant. Emily Blunt, um, Lynn manuel Miranda, Ben Whipson, Emily Moritimer, uh, the kids, of course, Julia Walters, Meryl Streep, and Colin Firth. They all have a chemistry with Mamma Mia and stuff. And, of course, Dick Van Dyke. Um, overall, the movie does do a very good uh, message, and that's never grow up. But then again, that's most Disney movies now. But guys, thank you for watching this review. Um, it's weird to say we're on the road to 800, because just a few months ago I was saying, hey, we're on the road to 600, we're on the road to 500, and now we've just gone up. Like... Imagine a couple of months ago, I was on 520, and here's me going, oh, we're on the road to 600. We've now gone up 200 since then. Crazy. But guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Don't forget uh, Christmas Day at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, remember that. 9 o'clock, um, the reading of Ryan Jobs at E2 in the Chocolate Factory. I still have to do a couple of things on it before I actually publish it. So it won't be published until the new year, unfortunately, because there's still a couple of mistakes in it that I need to go over and fix, which I can't do on my tablet. Um, and I haven't sold the other laptop yet, so I don't want to load it up and then change stuff on it. So uh, I don't know. I'll see you guys on Christmas day. Thank you for watching this video. Join Team 62, more details on that in the new year. 
uh, myself and Anushi have created something and I want to share it with you guys. T-shirt links in the description. Discord link in the description. It's like I'm making it sound like it's popping up on the screen. Something over there. Something over there. No, nope, it died now. It's gone. <laughs> it's just, just gone. It's over, Ryan. You embarrassed yourself again. Yep. Yes, I did.